My oh my, so what do we have here? One of the things I've really enjoyed about having my channel and building an audience is that I have gotten to meet some incredible people out there. People who are creative, have something that they want to give to the world, and are anxious for me to share it with them. One such example was Erwin Leon of The Perfect Sketchbook. Another one was Steve Padden over at The Portable Painter, portablepainter.com. Someone with a creative passion who wanted to create something that's useful for us artists and did a great job in taking that thing to market. It's just been cool to meet people like that. Well, I've got another really cool one. This is a company called Etcher. Etcher was put together by a group of creatives, spearheaded by Darren Yao. Just had a really great vision for creating bags and carrying cases, particularly suited to creatives and artists of all types. Again, just another individual with other individuals getting involved that had an idea, designed that idea, and took it to market. And, and they've already launched one, taking it to market through uh, Kickstarter, and they're about to do another one. It's a sort of a 2.0 version, new improved version. And now they actually have two products, the Etcher Art Satchel and the Etcher Field Case. It's been my pleasure to look over those, and I'm going to give you a review today, and we're going to look at them. And it's something that if you have the means and you have the desire, you'll be supporting a great group, getting a great case, I think. I know I'm kind of jumping to the end of my review and sort of getting in on the bottom floor of a really neat product. All right, so let's take a look at the bag overall. I'm just going to show you the components, and then we'll get into the configurations. It's probably going to make your head spin a little bit because this thing is so customizable that it's almost a little bit overwhelming at first. So basically it just looks like a messenger bag. It's made with a nice waterproof, water resistant outer fabric. Very heavy duty. And the first thing you'll notice when you get your hands on one of these is just how tough and durable the construction is. I mean it's just really top quality. It has an outside flap. Quick access pocket, so if you're traveling, you know, you can put tickets, your phone, anything in there that you need quick access to. Easy to operate uh, G straps. And here you see, I would call it the main cargo compartment, and this expands quite a bit. It's got additional cargo straps here, and they have what they call llama mode, which basically you could strap on all kinds of stuff to the outer part using either these straps or these molly loops here. Now if you don't know what a molly loop is, it's a molly specification. A molly specification came about through military and tactical gear. They didn't want this to look military but they did put these here so that you can add molly compatible pouches and whatnot. And I have one example that I happen to have. It's a little water bottle case. That right there is a Molly specified strap. So if I wanted to add this water bottle, I could do it right here to one of these. And I'm ready to go with a water bottle. But again, these straps lengthen. You can put them anywhere on here. Uh, they have more of the Molly configured strapping on the side. I like that I can strap my tripod here. And then as we look in, you can either reach down from the top or you can unfold this. And, and with this caddy, you start to get an idea of just how customizable this case is. Caddy comes out completely. Got a net pocket here. If you're a student, you can actually fit a good number of books in here when you take out that caddy. And you, if you have a thin enough tablet or laptop, it could even go in that pocket there. Take a look at the back. Right away you probably see that. That's a tripod mount and that's an exciting feature but we're going to get to that later. This right here is probably one of my favorite outer features. Take this apart. 
Put this clip up here. And now I have a backpack. It's no longer mess a messenger bag. So if you get a heavy day of hiking and walking or exploring, you can just put this backpack on and you're set to go. All right, let's take a look inside the other pocket. And then the inner main section sort of has a hard platform here, then an upper pocket here, and more components. And there, it's very important that you understand these are components because just literally everything is movable. This net pouch here, that, that can be removed. Maybe you want to put that in the front pocket. Maybe you want the caddy to go here. Let's take a look at these other components. First of all, you have these. These are uh, holders. They have little kind of rubbery nubs on them for grip. And there's two layers. So you can get single or double strength holds on these. And we'll look at how those work in a minute. This is one of my favorite features. These little bungee straps. And again, right now I'm just sort of showing you the components. We'll look at how they work in a minute. Then you have a couple of these. Again, these are a type of holder, and there's double levels of elastic strips here. So you can put any number of types of things here. And so let's go ahead and take all this stuff out, and we'll look at some configurations, or modes as they call them. called laptop mode. You're standing this up with the use of straps. It has to be supported by a table, but you can configure your holding area up here any way that you want. I mean, you could actually put a laptop computer here. Uh, here I've got it set up in case I'm like at a coffee shop or a library or someplace that I can set this on a table. For instance, in this case, I'm using a tablet as reference and doing some drawing. I think that these were probably my favorite holders. Uh, I think they're easier to use and a little more flexible than these corner holders. These are great for flatter things. I just had trouble getting them up on the corners of thick books. But what I preferred was these. They're actually meant to go through the spine of a book or to hold a book open. I found them most useful for holding down the covers. And these will tighten down pretty tight. You can move this part up here and voila, you know, you can you can even close up this whole thing and take it that way with you. But what's great about this is it even works with books that are oversized, which the corners don't. Books that go out beyond the edges of the case, you just slide the covers under and you're good to go. And I'm usually used to taking clamps with me anyway for my plane air. So if you have a book that's difficult to keep open, just stick a couple clamps in with your stuff and you're all ready and you're not limited to where the corners lie or how they lie inside. And when you're ready to pack up and go, just close up your book, slide it in and bada boom. I did find that after a while I got the hang of these things. Actually they're pretty great for keeping a, a firm steady anchor of your sketchbook on here. I don't think they're very convenient for taking on and off frequently. I still prefer uh, the bungee attachments for doing that. But there are going to be times when you really want this firm anchor support. In the end I found these were great. If for no other reason to just to add an extra level of support particular things. Here again you can see how flexible the bungee system is for holding the sketchbook by its covers and just holding down pages with clamp if necessary. 
solves the problems of landscape or very horizontal books that go outside the boundaries of the case. Changing pages is much easier this way. saw the hole earlier uh, you probably already guessed that that mounts to a tripod plate and this was probably one of the most exciting features about this case to me and now you have it in easel mode and voila I'm ready to paint I have come up with a, a watercolor setup that I really like, which involves me using another one of these on this side. And while I'm in transit, my water collapsible watercolor brushes go in here. They slide a little too much, so I just bolster them with one of these corner things. And because of the little rubber nubby things, that holds them real well. But while I'm painting, this also can become a brush holder. These corners are made to turn back, get them out of your way. You can probably see it better on this end. So you can turn those corners out. And as I'm painting along, I can stick the brush there. And it's, it's accessible as I'm ready to paint. And then just stick it back in there as a live brush holder. And all I need is my magnetic attachment clamp like I use basically in my other plein air setup. And it works great for holding my metal pallet. And there are D-rings on either side for the straps. I will also, with a clip, carabiner clip will hold your water supply on either side that you want. Makes a great plein air setup. I was really excited about that. Now, if you prefer, there's another easel mode, and that's a vertical easel mode. If you, and you can have your drawing and your art utensils down here, perhaps your palette. I prefer with watercolor mostly to lay it back flat, but there are times, especially for drawing, when I may want to do this, because then I can draw and look right out at my scene. Now, there's one more mode, and basically you turn the case back on itself. Got a little safety strap here. Then by going back and using the straps in the messenger bag mode, you clip up here, and then back here. And now we have what's called supported mode. It's basically like an easel held right in front of you. you use any of the same attachments for your drawing surface, and you can go out and draw and sketch wherever you want. Sit on a bench, stand, you don't need to set up an easel for quick sketching. Now as if that weren't enough, they're also selling this field case. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. While well, this is beautifully made, tight craftsmanship, just as much as this, uh, it's fairly self-explanatory. It's an expanded size pencil case essentially. Nice pockets. You can put things like, in my case I've got a uh, watercolor palette. You can put cell phones if you prefer. Uh, this makes a nice quick sketch, grab and go quick sketch bag for me. I've got a water brush in here. I can add a rag. A little pocket on the front. I even added uh, my own bungees uh, which allows me to, to strap a sketchbook to the outside in case I don't want to take up any inside room. But now the coolest thing is if you want to buy both. This has a strap which configures to the Molly specification. So you can use any of the Molly straps, such as these, or perhaps on the side. Once again, you can see how the flexibility of this whole system was well thought out. So that's the Etcher Art Satchel and Field Case. I hope you'll go check them out. I'll put all the links down below. 
You can sign up to get early notice of their campaign as soon as it launches, which should be this month sometime. They've already done this, as I said, once. They've, they've taken one art case to market already, so they've got the benefit of that experience under their belt. And I really think it's a special product. I just really wanted to bring this to my audience. I know it's not for everybody. As you can imagine, the quality and construction of something like this, it's not going to be cheap. But there are some of you out there that this is going to appeal to and might just solve something or give you something special that you've been looking for. I am not making a dime off of this, okay? They're not sponsoring this in any way. So this is just purely for the love of great products that's made to benefit artists like us. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful. See you in the next video.